After having specified the correct EDIUS work path, the next step appears in the Start Project window. From here, you can create a new project, which we will be doing now, or you can open any existing projects if any are available. My next step, however, is to create a new project, and I do so by clicking unsurprisingly on New Project. When it is the first time that I create a new project in EDIUS, as in this case, the Create Project Presets window opens and asks me to specify certain settings that I will be using for the project I am creating. Experienced users who have worked with a previous version of EDIUS or have experience of working with digital video editing may know which settings are relevant to their project. For other users, especially those with no experience, the question is clearly, what settings do I need for my project? And as a rule of thumb, you should try and work in EDIUS using the settings with which the original material was created or recorded in. You should refer to your digital camera's manual to find the specifications, which should tell you what you need to know. In my case, I am using an HD camera, and so I will select the HD box. I also know that my camera records in the 50i format, so I select that box, and I wish to work in 8-bit color, so I tick that box too. If you are not sure about this option, I recommend selecting the 8-bit option. After these three settings have been chosen, which each user will need to specify for themselves depending on their camera, we move on to the next step by clicking the Next button, and EDIUS will at this point offer me a list of project presets that EDIUS suggests. In my case, there are two presets available to me for working with HD video in the 50i format. One with a resolution of 1920 by 1080, and another with a resolution of 1440 by 1080. Both are resolutions that my camera supports, and hence I will select both for my work within EDIUS. After having created the project presets and selected them, I arrive at the Project Settings window. This is the window that will appear from now on when I create a new project, as the presets are now there and will not be asked for every time. A small remark concerning these presets. For the minute, I am just working with the two presets available, and the window asking me to create new presets will no longer appear. However, it may be important at a later date to change these settings due to a different camera being used or working in a different format, and this can of course be done, and I will show how later. But for now I'll continue with my new project. At the top I am asked to specify a name for my project, and it is important to give each project a very clear name, otherwise you can end up with confusion when dealing with multiple projects. I'm going to name my project for this tutorial First Start. And as I have selected the option Create Folder with Project Name, a new folder with my project name will be created in my work folder. And this option is highly recommended. Now I have to decide in which resolution I want to work. For this first start project, I'm going to choose the HD resolution 1440 by 1080. On the right, the information relevant to this setting is shown, and when I am sure I want to use these settings, I can click the OK button. Experienced users who may have some optional wishes that need specifying can do so by selecting the Customize option and changing these options after having confirmed with OK. But in my case, I will just accept the standard settings as they are defined by EDIUS, as these are, in most cases, and especially for beginners, adequate and recommended. Click here for the next video. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. You can find more tips and tricks in our EDIUS podcast. And this playlist contains the complete EDIUS tutorial.